There are many ways you can customize your portal. Customizing your portal is an important step because it makes your clients feel at home and puts your brand front and center. Fortunately, there are many ways to customize your portal. Let's jump right in. You can navigate to the customizations page by clicking on portal, then customization. The customizations you set up here are automatically used in your portal, in email notifications, and in invoices. Here, you can upload your company logo icon. It's a square image that is used on your portal sign-in screen, sidebar, email notifications, and several other places. You can see a preview on the right. Next, you can set a login and sign-up image. This is a larger square image that is displayed on your login and sign-up page. You can see how it looks on the preview. Here, you can set a primary color for your portal. Based on the color you set here, we automatically generate variants for buttons, hover states, and more. You can set up your welcome message on settings, messaging. The welcome message is sent to clients the very first time they log in. We recommend you customize it to introduce your business to your client and set expectations around how you want them to use your portal. Next is the modules and extensions page. Here you can see all modules and extensions in your portal. If you want to add a new module or extension, you can do that by clicking on the add new page. There are many extensions you can choose from, including popular ones like Airtable, ClickUp, Google Data Studio, and others. Since an extension is just an embedded web application, there are thousands of apps that work. If you don't see the app you want listed, you still might be able to add it by selecting the custom option and inserting the URL or embed snippet. To learn more about extensions, you can watch our dedicated video series on them. If you want to remove an existing module or extension, you can click on the Actions button and select Disable. You can also rename any module and change the icon. The module you move to the top becomes the default page for clients. By default, messaging is the top module, but if you have a dashboard or other type of homepage, we recommend that you make that the default page. On settings, domains, you can set up a custom domain. While by default, your portal URL looks like this. With a custom domain, you can set up something like this. A custom domain is a great way to make clients feel at home and more secure. You can also customize the email domain. This changes the sender that is used to deliver email notifications to your clients. A custom email domain is a great way to improve email deliverability so that emails don't end up in your client's spam folder. While by default, the email notification center looks like this. With a custom email domain, it can be this. For both the custom domain and custom email domain, follow the steps once you click on the button, and you'll see a guided experience that walks you through the process. Automations save you time and streamline the client experience. For example, you can set up an automation so that every time a new client signs up on their own, they are automatically assigned an intake form. There's infinitely many other automations you can set up. On the settings API page, you create an API key and webhooks. You can use the API directly or use Zapier if you prefer a no-code way of setting up automations. If you are interested in automations, we recommend you go to our Zapier page, read our documentation, or watch our video series focused on the API.